Hey guys, today's video is gonna be my top five must-haves for your first day of swim team. I did do this video about two years ago and it's really old and I'm kind of awkward on camera and I talk super slow and every time I watch it or recommend it to you guys, I like, I just cringe inside. So I thought I'd make a new one. It's better. And I've also learned a lot more so my five products have changed just a little bit. Luna's not gonna stay. The first category is gonna be the most obvious one which is swimsuits. Now I do have a few different ones that I'm gonna recommend because over the last two years, I've tried out a bunch of different suits from some really awesome brands and my opinions have changed on suits. I have three different brands that I'm going to recommend that are my absolute favorites for swimsuits. So the main thing to remember when you're looking for a suit, especially as a beginner, is to never get a lycra suit. Always make sure that when you read the tag on your suit, it says 100% polyester. This first brand I'm going to recommend is Funkita and these suits are super soft because they're made with PBT polyester, which is a recycled polyester, which means that they can be soft but also hold up really well. So Funkita is great. And and also a Monzi is super awesome. They're just as soft as the Funkitas and they're 100% polyester. I love this one too. Then the third and final brand is Zone 3 US. So if you live here in the US, you can get this suit, which is just as soft, 100% polyester. And the Amonzi and Funkita suits are Australian. So these are my three top recommendations. Click the eye up in the corner to watch all my reviews on these suits. A lot of you may be wondering why I'm not recommending Jolin, especially because almost everybody wears Jolin and it's kind of one of those suits that you see everywhere. And it's really big right now and I do have my Jolin here but honestly I haven't been wearing my Jolins at all lately. I've been wearing these other brands because they're so much softer and more comfortable and the Jolins have been really chafing on me so be different. Get a really cool brand and a really cool design and these brands are a lot softer and I like them better. I still wear the Jolin two pieces though and they are really good so they're still a good brand. Poof! Anna is going to tell us her swimsuit recommendation because she wears different brands than I do. She refuses to wear the suits that I wear. I really like the Speedo Endurance Plus suits because they're thick and they don't move. They're 100% polyester and they last a really long time. I've had this suit for about like six months and it hasn't worn out at all. <laughs> I have tried to get Anna to wear these suits and for some reason they just don't fit her right and she doesn't like the way that they feel. So they're great suits and the Speedo ones she really likes. Moving on to the next category which is goggles because you definitely need goggles for your first day of swim team. So I have two recommendations and they're gonna be the same as my last one because I have still never found goggles better than these. And those are the Speedo Vanquisher 2.0s and the engine weapon goggles. I have a review on the engine goggles that you guys can watch up here, but these are both my favorite practice goggles. I switch between them all the time. I can't pick between them. I love them both so much. Caps are another essential for your first day of swim team. So my absolute favorite caps are silicone. I have an all about caps video with you guys can watch and silicone is just a lot more gentle and it feels a lot better on your head it doesn't pull at your hair latex can be really uncomfortable and pull at your hairs and I just don't like it at all so my favorite silicone brand that has been my favorite for years because the silicone caps last the absolute longest from speedo this is a discontinued print but it's my absolute favorite so I keep my little baby safe I love this one so much all of their silicone caps are some of the thickest I have ever worn and they last the absolute longest so these are awesome the four must have for your first day of swim team are water bottles. You definitely need to bring water bottles with you even if you're beginning and you're not swimming for that long. It's always good to have a water bottle with you. So my first recommendation is going to be my Under Armour Beyond water bottle. I recommended this in my original video too and this one's just super awesome installation and I really like it. The only disadvantage for this one is that the lid is plastic so I found that the more I use it the more I drop it it will start to crack. My sister has the same one and the entire side of the lid cracked out so you do have to be careful with this one but the inside insulation is really great. My next recommendation is going to be the Jolin insulated water bottle. I had that one for just a few months before I lost it and I cannot find it. It's been missing for like four months at this point and I can't find it but I absolutely loved it. The ice stayed in it for so long and it was super awesome so if you guys are a big fan of Jolin you can definitely get the insulated water bottle as well. It's super awesome. And then the third water bottle recommendation is the Hydro Flask, which I just did a review on as well. This one again is just super insulated. Insulated water bottles are great for swimming because you can put ice in them and and stay cooled off during practice and have just like nice cold water. Having ice cold water at practice is an absolute necessity. And the last and final category is going to be a swim bag. So I have some different options for you guys. This first bag is a little bit bigger and this is the Speedo Teamster 35 liter. And this is the bag that I use. Now this is my old one. I got a new pattern, but there's so much like junk and bag tags on it that I thought using my old one without anything on it would be easier to show. So as you can see, it's got mesh pocket front, this, that. I've got a bunch of what's in my swim bags on my 
my channel that I'll link below. You guys can watch those if you want a more in-depth review of the bag. This one is super awesome when you're really getting into swimming and you're gonna be swimming a whole bunch and you need more gear than just these simple four things. This is also one of the most popular bags that people get for swim team. Another bag that's similar to this is the engine one and the engine one one of my friends has had it for like three years at this point and it's lasting really awesome and that one is also really good. The speedo bags also fit a towel really nicely if you need to bring one. Now some other options if you guys aren't gonna need to bring very much gear and you're just getting started are some smaller mesh bags. So this first one I did review a little while ago. This is the Pardeo bag and this one has a lot of nice mesh pockets in it and it does fit quite a bit especially when you don't need to bring a bunch of gear. This one is super awesome and it's a little bit more low profile. It's got like a single strap here on the back and you guys can also watch my review on this. And then if you're looking for something even simpler you can get just a plain mesh bag and there are a lot of brands that sell those like Speedo, TYR, Amanzi, Jolin, and a bunch of other brands all have just simple mesh cinch bags that can be really awesome. This is a Monzi's mesh bag and I brought this one up just to show you. This one is pretty awesome and it has a nice cinch on it and then it also has a good thick strap which can be more comfortable. I really like that about this bag because a lot of times the mesh bags only have this as the strap which can be so uncomfortable if you're carrying it for a while but this one has this nice flat strap that isn't going to dig in when you're carrying it and you have it full of stuff so I really like this mesh bag. That is going to be it for this video. I really hope Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give this a big thumbs up if you found it helpful. Let me know in the comments down below if you're starting swim team this year and I wish you guys the best of luck this season and please subscribe if you haven't already to see my next videos. Bye! Hi! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said I like the kind with the bubble butt. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> She's gone. Okay. <laughs> not even. Oh, I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> well, I recommended this. But... So, having ice cold water at practice. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Bye. Subscribe. <laughs> Anna.